This is a quick start video on using SOS with ADS. In this example, I'm a user Bill, and I'm going to be working on an RFIC 500 megahertz design. Here you can see I've created a directory. For this project, we assume your CAD guy or team lead has already set up the service and the project, and we will need to link into this. To set up the work area, we bring up SOS. When using SOS for the first time, you need to create the work area. To do this, I type SOS, select new work area, select the service, and again, this would have been set up by your CAD team. Select the project. Here you can see I have a handful of projects, but we're going to be working on the RFIC 500 design. Click OK. The various options here you can leave as default. Now you'll see that we've set up the project. So what we can do now is minimize this for now. We will come back to it later. I'm now going to invoke ADS. For this demonstration, I'm going to create a new library that I want to be managed by SOS. The first thing we do is create the new workspace. In this example, I'll just give it a name, RF. We'll create this in Bill's RFIC 500 directory. Click Create. Now what we'll do is go over to the library view and create a new cell under this library. I'll leave it cell underscore one. The editor window opens. Let's just create a couple of examples and click close. Now you'll see that cell appears under the workspace and you'll notice by the side of schematic, it says not controlled. If we mouse over, You'll see a tooltip giving details of the file. Now, to get this cell under version control, go ahead and right click, in this case, the schematic. Click check in items. You'll see the check marked items on the left hand side. Provide a comment. Click OK. You'll see a tooltip appear. Click Dismiss. Now you'll see by the right side of the schematic, it says Checked In. Now there's one more step that needs to be done for revision control. You bring up the SOS window. You can see, for example, the files. For example, here, the schematic is version one. What we need to do now is check in the data directory into the repository. Now this is needed for the work area to be created. We understand that simulation data gets populated in this directory. You may want to save that, you may not want to. But for SOS to function correctly, we also need to check in the data directory. To do this, right click, click create, click create all. And as you can see, this has been checked in by user Bill. I'll go ahead and minimize this again. Let's create another cell. Cell two, go ahead, add some op options to it. Go ahead and save it. And again, select it, right click, check in, give it a comment if you want. I won't give it a comment, but you'll see a tooltip appear. And now this is checked in. So this is a short video 
on how you can check in your cells into the SOS revision control repository.